My name is Jie Xu. I'm a PhD student at MIT. In this work, we propose a framework to efficiently co-optimize the design and control of a manipulator robot. Morphology and control are two key pieces of a manipulator. Jointly optimizing them can significantly improve the task performance of the robot. However, given a fixed robot topology, optimizing its morphology is challenging since it requires a general and effective parameterization for the shapes. An ideal parameterization should work for articulated robot designs with complex geometries, result in designs that can be easily manufactured. And more importantly, the parameterization is better to be differentiable to allow efficient gradient-based optimization. Previous works tried to solve this representation problem by modeling each robot component by primitive shape. However, those primitive shapes cannot describe the complex designs required for interesting manipulation tasks. Other choices are using CAD or sign distance field parameterizations, but both of them are slow, non-differentiable, and hard to be applied to articulated robot designs. In this work, we propose a differentiable framework for robot core design. At the core of our framework is a deformation-based design parameterization and a differentiable rigid body simulation specialized for contact-rich tasks. Our deformation-based parameterization is based off cage-based deformation methods which has been widely used in computer graphics to deform a high-resolution mesh in a real-time and feature-preserving manner. By defining a coarse cage around the mesh, it first pre-computes a normalized barycentric width vector for each mesh vertex to establish a mapping between the locations of the cage handles and the mesh vertices. Then, by moving around the cage handles, the underlying mesh deforms accordingly using those pre-computed weights. Inspired by this, we propose a hierarchical parameterization for articulated robot designs. Starting from a set of high-level cage parameters, our algorithm computes the locations of cage handles. Those cage handles in turn deform the underlying mesh of each component through cage-based deformation. From that, we can calculate the kinematics and dynamics parameters of the robot required by the simulation. Each step here is computationally efficient, analytically differentiable, and also preserving the manufacturability of the design. To exploit the differentiability of our deformation-based parameterization, we develop a differentiable rigid body simulation for contact-rich manipulation tasks. There are three key features of our simulation compared to previous works. First, our simulation works in a reduced coordinate system to make the representation compact and accurate. Second, we extend the penalty-based contact model in previous work to more general contact scenarios involving two dynamics bodies, which are required by manipulation tasks. Finally, we derive the analytical gradients of the simulation with respect to a full spectrum of kinematics and dynamics parameters of the robot. By combining our deformation-based morphology parameterization and the simulation together, we obtain an end-to-end -end framework. The differentiability of each step allows us to effectively backpropagate the gradient of the loss through the whole pipeline to the morphology and the control parameters. Then, we can use efficient gradient-based optimization for core design. We test the efficiency of the gradient-based optimization enabled by our differentiable framework on four core design tasks. We introduce two of them here. In the first task, the finger is required to flip a heavy box. The video on the left shows that it's insufficient to only optimize the control. By co-optimizing the shape and control through simple gradient-based optimization solver, LBFGS, an interesting hook-like structure is evolved to hook on the back surface of the box to flip over the box more easily. We compare our method to gradient-free methods such as CMAES, 1 plus 1 ES, and reinforcement learning-based method. The results show that our method is able to find better morphology and control combination while only using 10 to 20 times fewer simulation iterations. The next task requires two fingers to collaborate together to accomplish an assembling job. The optimized morphology has longer right finger and a shorter left finger to be able to reach two objects of different sizes. Furthermore, the large and flat fingertip helps to push the cube more stably than a thin and curved finger. We further test the manufacturability and functionality of the optimized designs. We 3D printed the individual finger components and assembled the design optimized for flipping box task. The motor sequences are manually configured to follow the waypoints from the trajectory optimized by the algorithm. We conducted stress tests on the cubes of different sizes to test its functionality and robustness. The experiment shows that the manufactured finger can successfully flip the cubes in real world. For more details, please refer to our paper and supplementary materials. Thank you.